Hi, Kerry Russell here from the blog mechanic.com. In today's short video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change fonts in WordPress. Now, there are actually a couple of ways that you can change fonts in WordPress, but in this video, I'm going to show you the simplest and best way to change it without having to know code, such as CSS. So we're going to use Google Fonts and a plugin called Google Fonts for WordPress. So you will, of course, need to be logged in to your WordPress admin area. I'm already logged into my staging website, so I'm just going to quickly switch over to the dashboard area. Okay, so once you're logged in, go to Plugins, go across, and then Add New. On the next page, in the right hand side where it says search plugins, just search for Google Fonts for WordPress. And then that should come up as the top result. So it's this red icon here, very first option. Click install now. It shouldn't take too long. Okay, so once that's installed, click Activate. And you now have two options to get to the plugin setting area. So you can either access the plugin settings area from this new link that has appeared at the top of your WordPress dashboard or you can go to Appearance in the left-hand navigation menu and go across and click Customize. Now, once you're on the customization page of your WordPress website, you will notice that a new tab called Google Fonts has been added to the very top of the navigation menu. So let's click to open that up. Now, what I really like about this particular WordPress plugin is you can change font in WordPress on a site-wide basis or you can really dig deep and have different fonts for all different areas of your website. So for example, if I go to the basic tab, click that, then you're just going to see three different options. The first one is for the body of your website, so your actual blog post content, so the paragraphs, um, bullet points, etc., that are on your blog posts and your blog post pages. The second one is for the headings, and the third one is for any buttons and input fields on your website. So if you configure these on this basic setting page, these settings, or these fonts, should I say, are just going to change site-wide. However, if you want to dig deeper and have different fonts for all different areas of your website, then you need to go back and go to Advanced Settings. Now, once you're on the Advanced Settings section, you have a few different options. So, for example, we can open up the navigation area, and if I change that to Oswald, and then if you just look at my navigation in the top right corner, that is the only text that is going to change now, or the only font, should I say. So we can see that has now been changed. So now I'll go back, I'll go to branding, which is basically going to allow you to edit the font type of your, your website name, okay, in the top left corner. So for that, I don't know, I'll just select some at random. So we can see how the website name has now changed, but nothing else has changed. All the headlines are the same, the blog post content is the same. Um, if I had a description, I could also change the description font as well. So I'll go back and then we have content in here. So the content for the advanced settings, you can change all the headings. So heading one, two, three, right through to six. You can have them the same font, which you just do in the basic settings, or in this section, you can have different fonts for different headlines. 
And then the very top option is for the body content. So for the paragraph content of your blog posts and your blog pages. Okay, so now if I go back, you can also change the sidebar font and the footer font. So this plugin is really flexible. Um, and in my experience and in my opinion, it's the best plugin to use to change fonts in WordPress either on a site-wide basis or on a page-by-page, -page, you know, post-by-post, sidebars, widgets, etc. So that's it from me. This is Kerry Russell from theblogmechanic.com. If you are watching this video on YouTube, then please do subscribe to my channel and of course be sure to check out my blog, theblogmechanic.com. For more tips and tutorials related to WordPress and the technical side of building your blog-based online business. Bye for now.